Hello and welcome to this video. I love vacuum tubes. I use them in hi-fi, in my guitar amps, and also in my studio. Yes, it's a technology from the past millennium, but despite having more than a hundred years old, and despite all the evolution, man still didn't invent any other way of making sounds as natural and warm as when you use vacuum tubes. Let's begin. Ok, I am using my TV7 military tube tester. It's an old machine, as this is an old technology. Today I start testing the 12AX7 tubes. It's a dual triode, it's like having two tubes in one, so I have to test both sections independently. This tester is relatively easy to use. You just follow the manual to find all the settings. I always double check. You just need one parameter wrong and you may blow the tube or the machine. Ok, so before I start, I will perform a line test to reset the values and bring the machine to the full power. It will change whenever I install a new tube, as it will draw different currents. Note that all this takes a lot of time and I did cut a lot. Vacuum tubes need to warm up for proper usage. And testing. I also perform a noise and or shorts test and if that noise light is permanent there is a problem. Now with this tube clearly it is very low, it is almost bad. I do a new line test and the values just raise a little bit but it is near dead again. So it's a bad tube. Let's test the other triode. Or the other side if you prefer. I change the values. Again a short test line test and it performs badly. It's near dead. So let's try with another tube, another Tanks Ram ECC83, that's the European denomination, or 12AX7 for the US, that's their denomination. This tube tests very strong and balanced. Both sides test similar values. Now with a Philips ECC82 or 12AU7. Again, it tests very strong. on both sides. I always do several tests and I get the average value. Now let's test a Telefunken 1287 or ECC81. It tests very strong, I try a new one and again very strong values. And balanced. Now with the power tube 
a 6VC GT from a guitar amplifier. The process is the same, you follow the procedure by following the manual. You will get the settings for the machine so you can get proper readings. And with rectifiers is absolutely the same. You just follow the manual. This is a GZ34 also from a guitar amplifier. It's more difficult to get readings for this tube by my experience, but you can do it. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more videos like this and drop a line in the comments section if you have something to say or ask. I see you in the next video. Take care.